Hello, this video is to help you with circ in chapter 11 for the chi-square test. What we're first going to do is figure out how do you come up with the numbers for the expected frequencies, which is labeled italicized lowercase f subscript e, the frequencies expected or expected frequencies. Turn to your circ in textbook, page 401. And we're going to look at table 12.3, your observed frequencies, which are labeled the italicized lowercase f subscript o for observed frequencies. Now that you're at table 12.3, let's look at it. We have observed frequencies, attitude on intervention, born against, and attitude on death penalty, supports, opposes. Notice I put little A, B, C, D on this. This is similar to the previous chapter where you had the little blocks labeled A, B, C, D. They're labeled the same way. And your A, notice it's the attitude on intervention is 4, and the attitude on death penalty is they support it. So A is 13. Going over to the right on the row, B is 2. And then for the opposes row, for the column 4, which is your C then, is 5, D is 20. Okay, what you're going to need really for the expected frequencies on this is to be able to look at your totals. You're going to be carrying over your totals, your row totals and your column totals. So looking at the bottom here, that's your column total, 18, you're going to fill in the 18 over on your expected frequencies. At first, the center part I have with the equations will be empty. You're going to be figuring that out. So 18 goes there, and for the column, for against, the total is 22. You'll put 22 in, you'll put your total in, which is 40, 40, and you'll also put your row, row totals, 15 for your supports, and 25 for the opposes. You'll put that in your table, and then we're going to figure out the center. Okay, now in your textbook, don't let it trip you up and confuse you. They have an oops in there. They have an editing thing. I'm going to try to show it to you on the camera. It's on page 404 of your Circin book. Hopefully this shows up here. 404, notice on there where I have it in pink and yellow. They have a mistake. The 25 does not go there. It goes on the outside like there. Okay, so if you're looking at that and you're thinking, what? What in the world did they do there? It's, it's a mistake. It's just an ed it's maybe an editing error. So now let's go back to the expected frequencies as far as how to calculate this. So what I did for the first box, the way I worked it, is I did this row. I worked the first row, which is supports. What it is, is your, the, the see the equation over here, the formula, you have the Expected frequencies equals the row marginal, what in the world they're saying? They're saying your, your row marginal total times your column marginal total over your grand total. Your grand total is this little 40 number in the corner. It's the grand total of like the rows and the columns there. So let's look here. We have um, for the first one, attitude on intervention, they're for it, and attitude on death penalty, support sets in your A block. See the little A? What it is, it's your row marginal, which is 15, times your column marginal, which is your, like a column marginal, totals 18, over 40, which is your grand total on the corner. So first, 15 times 18 equals 270, divided by 40, equals 6.75. Say, so then what in the world? There's not like three quarters of a person out there, or 0.75, or 75% of a person. Leave it this way. Don't round them. We have to leave it this way. Okay, for the chi. And let's go to the work across the row. I like to work to the right. And I just noticed I have an error. This is why we check our work. I mislabeled the little box there. These things happen. We have our oopses when we do our math. That's why we show all of our steps and we um, we check our work. Okay, there. Now that's fixed for when we work on this. Okay, back to this. The B. 
it's your row marginal, which is 15, times your column marginal, which is right here, 22, over your grand total, which is 40. So 15 times 22 equals 330 divided by 40. So 330 divided by 40 equals 8.25. Now let's work to the next row, the opposes row. From left to right, I like to work when I do this. You have your row marginal, which is 25, 25 times your column marginal, which is 18, over your grand total, which is 40. So 25 times 18 equals 450, divided by 40 equals 11.25. We have one more block to fill in, and then we'll be done with calculating our expected frequencies. This one we have 25, which is your row marginal, times 22, which is your column marginal, over your grand total, which is 40. So 25 times 22 equals 550, divided by 40 equals 13.75. Now we're also going to explain here how to calculate your degrees of freedom. That's your number of rows, <coughs> which you notice our number of rows, we have supports and opposes. Of course, they're the same for both. Supports and opposes, so we have two for our number of rows, right here, minus one, times the number of columns. Your columns are like um, columns on buildings or running north to south. So your number of columns, you have for and against. So that's a total of 2, 2 minus 1. So first we go 2 minus 1 equals 1, 2 minus 1 equals 1, 1 times 1 equals 1. So your degrees of freedom or your wiggle room, that equals 1. The next video will explain how to calculate the formulas, or one of the formulas.